Absolutely, Kelly. Dr. Califf, thanks so much for being with us. Hey, it's great to be with you. So I want to start by asking you about the news Friday night, the accelerated approval of a new drug for Alzheimer's disease from Biogen and ASI. How would you characterize, considering how many millions of patients have Alzheimer's disease right now and there's been absolutely nothing for them for so long, where this field stands in terms of solutions? Well, as you allude to, it's been so depressing that you have such a serious disease growing rapidly because we're living longer mm. and affecting so many people and their families. Now we have uh, a treatment which lowers the risk of progression of the deterioration and your ability to think and calculate and all the things that are important to life. Now, it's not a cure for the disease. It just slows the rate of progression according to the clinical trials. So there's new hope. It's very exciting. We've got a lot more data that needs to come in, though, before we'll know the full extent of the benefits and exactly who should get the treatment and what the uh, risks are in the long term. Mm. But there's a lot of reason for optimism. Mm. Well, so the situation right now is this drug is approved, but unfortunately very few people will probably be able to access it because Medicare is not covering drugs uh, that target amyloid that are approved in, in the current situation. A lot of people interpreted that decision from CMS as sort of uh, a rebuke of the FDA's approval of the previous Alzheimer's drug. How did you interpret it? Well, I know the uh, people like to talk about, you know, contests and competition and rebuke and all that. This is just, you know, the FDA has a mission, safe and effective. Uh, the CMS has a mission, reasonable and necessary. And the Adjuhelm approval, the first drug for Alzheimer's that was approved on this accelerated pathway, you know, had limited data. Um, and this led to a lot of good discussions with CMS. So I think as it relates to lecanemab, the new one that was just approved, I would stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of going on with that. And also remember that the company just submitted their data for full approval, not the accelerated approval. Mm -hmm. That's going to be coming up. So I don't expect the CMS policy to be a totally fixed policy. We have a, a lot of communication, and um, I think they'll reach a good spot. Hmm. It is important for me to always point out FDA has a mission. Uh, we don't tell CMS what to do. CMS doesn't tell us what to do. I liken it to a relay race where we need to make the baton handoff a lot smoother. Mm -hmm. That's not a new problem. But this has really brought it to public attention. I don't think that's a bad thing. Hmm. I want to ask you also about COVID. Um, of course, where we are right now, there's continued discussion around what should happen with the vaccines. We know there's a meeting later this month to, to talk about updating them potentially or how that should happen. Um, we talked with Regeneron CEO earlier today about a new antibody drug they have, which they think could stand up better against variants. The FDA moved so incredibly quickly uh, during the emergency phase of the pandemic. Um, it, it seems unreasonable to ask that it could continue to do that, but is the urgency still there around COVID and how are you looking at that? Well, we're losing, you know, hundreds of people a day in the United States of COVID. So there's still a lot of urgency. We're still in a state of emergency. We'll respond uh, quickly. Uh, there's a lot going on in the industry, both, you know, in the vaccine area and the antiviral area in the therapeutic antibody area. All this is moving. Of course, it would help if we could uh, have more government funding to stimulate this, but so far we've been unsuccessful with Congress in getting that to move along. But yeah, we're, we're ready in uh, helping the industry think through this. But as always, we need good data. We had, you know, there are a lot of great ideas, and just like in all of drug and therapeutic development, most things don't work, and so you have to prove that it really works before you move forward.